What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. For any of you who are new here, my name is Dalton. What I do is I resell gently used and new shoes on platforms like Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And it's been a little while since I've uploaded a video. Um, the past two months have been kind of busy for me, so I kind of stepped away from social media. And um, long story short, for those of you who follow me on Instagram or just notice the scenery changes in my videos, um, I used to live in Orlando, Florida. I moved back to Kansas, which is where I'm originally from, um, for the past uh, almost six months. And I decided to extend my lease in Florida, so now I am back there. So that's kind of what I've been busy with. Uh, the past couple months I've been transitioning back over here. Today I just wanted to put out a quick video just to make sure that you guys know that I am still alive. I think we're going to go hit a couple uh, thrift stores, see if we can find some uh, shoes to flip. Um, today's not a normal sourcing day for me, but yesterday I decided to try out a new area. Um, it was about two hours away from where I live. so. I got all the way out there and it was kind of a bust. Um, I did come away with 40 pairs of shoes. Uh, they're actually still in the car, so if we don't have luck today, I might just share the haul from yesterday with you, show you some bolos. Like I said, I came away with uh, 40 pairs yesterday, which isn't bad for a day of sourcing, but when you consider the fact that I had to drive two hours there and like an hour and a half back, um, just wasn't exactly worth it for me. So we're gonna see if we can make up for yesterday today. Um, I think we're gonna hit like maybe five, six different thrift stores. Take you guys along with me, um, share with you what I'm picking up, what I'm leaving behind. Um, so hopefully you can implement what I'm picking up into your sourcing moving forward. So the first thing I definitely need to do is go and get gas. And depending on when you are watching this, you will know that we have a little bit of a gas shortage right now. Um, yesterday I waited about 30 minutes in line just to get to a pump. And then on when I got back home, the gas station right next to my house was completely sold out of gas. So I definitely need to go get gas. If we get gas, we'll go sourcing. If not, well, you're not gonna see this. So I'll keep you updated. Sorry for my super dirty and cracked windshield, but yeah, as you can see, it's not as bad as it was yesterday. At least this time I'm like right up next to the pumps. Yesterday I was way back there. Um, and the line on that side of the gas station isn't nearly as long as it was yesterday. So. We should be uh, we should be getting some gas today. All right, so I'm pulling up to the first stop, which is going to be a Goodwill. Uh, they opened about 20 minutes ago, so I just wanted to give my first piece of advice for this video. Um, I used to get really discouraged if I ever overslept or was just running late. I felt like I always needed to be the first person at the first stop every single time, but really that's not true. Um, sometimes these thrift stores they take you know 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, three hours to start putting out the shoes. Don't get discouraged if you're not the first person in the door. Um, sometimes the employees are running behind. You can still find great things to resell no matter what time you go during the day. So that being said, we're gonna run inside here real quick and see if we can't find some shoes to resell. So uh, a couple pointers coming out of this first stop. As you see, I'm about to come up on some Hirachis. Um, great shoe to pick up, but they have no insoles. Um, a lot of shoes I will definitely pass if they don't come with their original insoles. Next up, we see a pair of Vans that clearly have some separation. Make sure you always give Vans and Converse a good pin. Next, I ended up passing on these Air Force Ones. Great shoe, just had some separation after I looked at them closer. Next shoe is these Brooks. Um, tread looks great on them, but I don't know what causes shoes to dry out like this, but the soles are hard as a rock. So definitely keep an eye out for that and definitely pass if you find them. I wanted to throw this in here just to remind you to not get discouraged if your prices at your thrifts are really high. We're all dealing with it. All these shoes in this section were $35 to $50. Um, definitely worth looking up some comps on some of them, but for the most part, just know that we're all dealing with high prices at thrift stores. All right, so I'll run through everything I picked up in there real quick. Uh, first off, I got a couple personal things. I needed a trash can for my storage unit, so I got that. And I got this potato ricer. As far as shoes go, I paid... 15 for these Saucony Ride ISO series. Uh, paid up a little bit, but these should sell pretty quick. Um, I picked up a pair, uh, another pair of Saucony's. Paid $8 for these. A couple pair of kids' shoes. I got these Youth Kyrie's for $6. And these uh, Converse for two. And then I picked up these uh, Mizuno Wave Creations. Paid uh, $10, I believe. And I kind of took a gamble on these. Um, if you've seen that section that had all the like $50 shoes, I paid $50 for these uh, dunks. I'll throw the listings up on the screen. Um, there's none currently sold, but I think I'm gonna list these at like 120 on eBay and hopefully sell them around there just because there's no fees. If I sell them for between 100, 120, I won't be paying fees. So I might be able to double up on these 
if that's how much they sell for. Like I said, there's no comps at all. These came in this morning. These are new uh, shoe racks. So uh, later in the video, I'll show you why I'm so excited that these came in. So as you've seen, uh, first stop was decent, not great. Um, like I said earlier in the video, uh, today is not a day that I normally go sourcing. That's because I normally don't have the most luck on this day in this area at least. So um, I'm not really expecting too much for today, but I mean, all in all, it wasn't a bad stop. Those, uh, those dunks I'm kind of excited about. Um, I know I had to pay up quite a bit for them. I'm not, not really used to paying $50 for shoes at a thrift store, but they were in like pristine condition. I don't think they've been worn more than a couple times. Um, a bigger size, um, so harder to find. There's only five listed. Uh, no sales kind of suck, but I, I'm not scared about that. You know how, how popular dunks are right now, so those should sell fine. Um, I'm pulling up to our next stop. Um, the next two stops are going to be some local thrift stores. Um, it's kind of hard to find smaller local thrift stores that also have high volume. So I normally stick to like Goodwill, Salvation Army, those kind of places. Um, but every now and then you can find a, uh, a nice hole in the wall place that does get quite a bit of inventory. So be on the lookout for those, we'll pop in here and see if we can find some more shoes. Also wanted to mention last time I popped into the store, I found two pairs of uh, New Balance 993s for $14 a piece. I'll pop a screenshot up right here and some sold comps over here. Crazy. That was one of the best stops I've had in, in quite a while. So not too much to point out in the store. Did come across this nice pair of Ultras. Uh, great condition, but no insoles. So not really worth paying up at $15 for. Next, I just want to point out, always check the insides of shoes. These Allegrias were in great condition outside, but inside's absolutely disgusting. All right, so that was a pretty solid stop. Picked up 22 pairs for uh, $209. So I'll run through these really quick. Um, the prices that you see on the tags probably aren't accurate because this store does a lot of discounts. Um, I think red, blue, and tan were 50% off. So first off, I picked up these Hoka's. I did pay full price for these. Um, I grabbed these Hoka's for $25. Should sell for like 70 to 100. Snag some camo Converse. These Asics. A pair of Bionic sneakers. These Nike Free Run Distance. snagged these on clouds they're in pretty good condition but they are missing the insoles i normally pass on shoes without insoles but these are such a high dollar shoe that it, um, it's worth it to me uh, i don't know what it is about this thrift store but they for some reason have more shoes without insoles than any other thrift store that i've ever been to um, got these bionic flats these tom's booties uh, bionic walkers uh, need a little clean but a magic eraser will get those looking great Got another pair of those Bionic sneakers. Pair of Skechers slip-ons. Some Youth Merrells. Some Youth Converse. Some Crocs. Some brand new Skechers uh, flip-flops. Another pair of Hoka's. These are super dirty, but they were only $4, and the tread is pretty good. So I wasn't going to pass these up for $3, even in this condition. I had a pair of these North Face sandals. It is summer, so sandals are doing hot right now. Got some Foot Joy golf shoes. A pair of Men's New Balances. New Balance Minimus. And a Bayo Heels. All right, so stop number two was great. It's always nice to find two pairs of Hoka's on clouds at the same stop no matter the condition really um i'm about to pull into the third stop these last few stops i haven't been to in a while i've pretty much struck out at, at them the last several times i've been just because i think i've just been getting uh beat to them um, this one that i'm about to stop at they they go through phases where their prices are really high and then sometimes their prices are really low um, i don't know what the deal with that is so hopefully today is a uh, low price day um, so we'll pop in here and see if we can't keep the ball rolling. All right, so that stop wasn't terrible, wasn't great either. Only uh, picked up six pairs of shoes for like nine sixty per pair. Um, it was two pairs of Vans, a pair of uh, generic New Balances, um, a pair of Nike Flyknits, and some Bionic booties. Uh, nothing really worth going through, but um, 
I text Drew and he's been to the thrift stores that I was planning on going to, so I'm not really going to waste my gas to head up there. Um, I'm going to stop into a Salvation Army right now and we'll probably call this the last stop of the day. I still got quite a bit of stuff to do today, so not a full day of sourcing, but I mean, because of that one stop, it didn't do too bad. Still going to end up with um, almost as many shoes as I did yesterday, and yesterday I spent an entire day plus two hours driving there and back, and today it was only about an hour, two hours worth of sourcing. So hopefully we can uh, end this on a good note, and I will see you guys inside. All right, so this store was pretty dry as usual. I don't really stop at the Salvation Army when I'm out sourcing, but I did manage to pick up two pairs of shoes. Got these Nike Presto mids for $5, half off a of 10, as well as these Converse with a cool paint design on them. Same price. All right, so I did stop at one last place on my way home. Um, only picked up three pairs of shoes. Got these Vans slip-ons. I think they're brand new. Um, and same with these FootJoy golf shoes, also brand new. And last but not least, he's just these pair of uh, Skechers slip-on shoes. So I think that wraps it up for today. I definitely think my favorite find of this sourcing trip was this OXO potato ricer. Oddly enough, I have this on my this exact potato ricer on my Amazon wish list. Um, it is uh, thirty or forty dollars, and I got it for six. And if you told me this thing's brand new, I would 100% believe you. I don't think this has ever had a potato ran through it. So I know this is kind of off topic, but I am super stoked about this find. So as you've seen earlier in the video, I picked up my uh, new shoe racks uh, this morning. Um, I've been waiting on those forever and I'm going to take you, I gotta go do my shipping. So I'm gonna take you with me to my storage unit and show you exactly why I am so excited that those shoe racks came in. So let's head there. All right, so I just pulled up to my storage unit. I'm not sure really where I left off, but I just stopped and uh, had some lunch. I'm gonna pop in here and before I show you this mess and why I really needed these shoe racks is, uh, I'll give you a little backstory. Basically, um, when I moved back down to Florida, I was planning on bringing all my shoe racks and everything with me when I came, but for some reason my dad wanted them, so he bought them from me. And when I got down here, basically the whole back of my car was full of, packed full of shoes, and I was gonna put them into my storage unit. I was gonna kind of organize them so whenever I got shoe racks in, um, it would be easy to put them up on the on the shelves. But then I came across a desk on Facebook Marketplace that I really wanted to go pick up, and the guy said there was other people interested, and if I wanted it, I had to go pick it up now. So basically, I had. 30 minutes to bring all the shoes, get all the shoes out of my car into my storage unit. So I wasn't, I didn't have time to go and like put the pairs together and yada, yada, yada. So basically I pulled them out of my car and just dumped them straight into my storage unit. So I will show you this mess that I have and I cannot wait to get these shelves in. So let's go inside and uh, check this out. see this place is an absolute mess it definitely could be worse um, I normally have about 400 like three to four hundred pairs of shoes in inventory um, before the whole moving process started that was growing but when I decided I was uh, moving back I ran sales every weekend and I was able to uh, dwindle my inventory down to um, 180 or so pairs so if I still have the 400 this this mess would be ridiculous but um it still sucks. I mean, I'm every time I come up here to ship, I find myself digging through shoes because like I told you, none of these are with their pairs. So like I'll find one pair and or like one shoe of a pair and then I'll be digging and digging and digging until I can't can find the other one and it, it sucks. So definitely glad that I got the uh, shoe racks in. I already got one put up, but um, probably how I'm gonna spend my day tomorrow. I'm probably gonna be up here all day getting this nice and organized and then things will be back to normal, hopefully. Everything packaged up. Um, one thing that sucks about not having much inventory is sales are pretty low right now. I only have uh, four pairs of shoes going out right now, um, but still better than nothing. So I'm gonna take these to the post office. We'll probably call it a day. All right, so that's really all I have for you guys today. Um, after I get these dropped off at the post office, I'm just gonna head to, head to the gym. Um, I still need to do photograph and list 15 pairs of shoes. That's really my goal right now. A lot of people do ask me how many pairs and how many things I list every single day. Um, up until recently, it's been 10. I shoot to, shoot to list 10 items per day. 
um, but I'm bumping that up to 15 just because of how low my inventory is right now and I'll probably keep it that way because it's really not that much more work. Um, I just passed 230 last night I think so very quickly making my way back up to where I should be in inventory but definitely definitely still not there yet. Um, it, it's definitely starting to I can definitely tell that I've ha only had 100 item, 180 items listed uh, recently sales have been super slow so hopefully with all these uh, shoes that we picked up today and yesterday that we can get the ball rolling again um, it, it feels nice to be back in Florida and back into the swing of things so yeah I just wanted to uh, make a quick little sourcing video show you guys I'm still here and uh, try to get the ball rolling again on future videos so so you have any questions over anything you've seen in this video or if you found anything helpful just let me know down in the comments below um, I'll get back to every single one of you if uh, you want to see more videos like this definitely consider hitting the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video